hello and welcome everyone i am back i am back i am back i know it is long awaited and long overdue since i last posted my video which was about a year ago and i told myself from that time forward that i would do the best that i could to post weekly on my youtube channel to just basically build a herbalism herbalist community where we can thrive together and be of guidance to you all for herbal education and the studies i am Ange, your herbalist and holistic educator and i have been practicing holistic health and herbalism since 2016. i am super grateful to be in this space Space and have created a community space and platform guiding others towards their herbalism practice. The video is basically going to be me giving you tips on how to get started in your herbalism practice or if you are trying to start your own herbal business I'm going to give you all some tips on how to do so. So prior to us doing that I'm going to give you a little bit of update about me and what's been going on and why I've been away. Number one I have been gone because I went through many different transitions and cycles last year. It was a very tough year for me. Someone I love dearly passed on and it has been very with me you know going through the grieving process of that it has really put me deeper into self-discovery forming myself and just becoming better each and every day and although I went through some ups and downs during that process I have learned a lot it throughout the year of last year and it has greatly made me a stronger better person so I've took some time to be away from social media because I wanted to be present I wanted to reflect upon my life and so I took a little away time with my social media platforms and also my YouTube channel so that is the reasoning behind why I have been away but I do plan to be back into this space because I just felt called to do so and I'm going to do the best I can to start posting consistently again so that is that as far as that goes also during that time I started my lock journey as you can see last you guys see me with loose hair or braids in my lock journey last year of September so I think we're about eight months in and I am so grateful for the lock journey because it has really caused me to enjoy my hair and patience and transformation of all different things Yes, we're eight months in with these beauty. Next, I have been diving more into my mindfulness, breath work, and yoga practice, and been going to the park and doing yoga in the morning and breath work and mindfulness, and that has really greatly helped me through my grieving process and really just be more in tune with myself and more present with my life, and I am grateful for that journey as well. We have a sound bowl right here. So I've been doing a little bit of that as well behind the scenes. Lastly, I wanted to bring something to you guys' attention that I finally launched my herbalist herbalism business course where I teach you from A to Z on how to set up and structure your own herbal business or just dive into your herbal practice and how to start it. So I created this course. That is what I was doing behind the scenes as well. And I put so much time and dedication into this course. And I am so grateful for that outcome. This herbal business course guides you from A to Z on how to properly set up and structure your herbal business. I also put some herbalism education in there to give you the fundamentals of how to prep your own herbal products, how the study and education of different herbs, and it is just a wealth of information for this herbal business course and I wanted to make it accessible. So right now it is on sale and it is for a great price because I wanted the first people who got in to have it at a great price, but afterward, of course, the price does go up. As of right now, it is on sale and I just wanted to make a study and education of herbalism more accessible because when I first got started on my journey in 2016 it was not a lot of information on how to get going in this area so it really took a lot of time and dedication and all these other different things for me to get going in this area but now there's so many different herbalists herbalism education study platforms and different things of that nature so it is a very beautiful thing to see that in holistic wellness is becoming more of a thing but anywho I am going to just share with you a few tips on how you can get started on your herbalism journey whether you want to start it for a business practice or a personal personal reasons this can pertain to you all so let's get right into this number one when you're first getting started in your herbalism practice or business you want to choose a niche I know this sounds very cliche and you hear it all the time but it is so true and imperative towards the upstarting of your herbalism business and journey when I first got started I was so excited because I knew how to make a lot of different herbal tea blends and different products and herbal infused body butters and I wanted to sell everything that I knew how to do but no 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 you do not want to go about it that way you will surely learn that having a niche and specialization in your area is key towards having a specialty and you being the expert in which you do. I realized out of all the products that I sold when I first started my herbalism shop or herbal 
shop. I had a bra shop selling many different tea blends that people were gravitating towards my herbal detoxification blends where I would sell like a kidney cleanse, liver cleanse, and things of that nature. Parasite cleanse, you name it. I had it on my website. And I found that people were gravitating towards these products. So that then made me realize having a niche and specialization in your, in your area is imperative towards figuring out your target audience and the people you are serving and giving them a problem solving solution from A to Z on how to solve a problem. So if you have a herbal cleanse that you are trying to showcase and sell, you are targeting people who are looking to do a cleanse with their body naturally through the use of herbalism. So I then had to cater my audience towards that and specialization. I even went further and got my detox certification specialist certification to enhance my knowledge and understanding on how the body works, how herbs interact, and how to properly guide someone how to do a detox and cleanse when they're going through fasting. So you always want to be an expert in your specialization so you know what you're talking about and people feel more gravitated towards coming to you for questions and buying your products and services because guess what you're an expert in your area so always 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 have a niche there are many different areas to go down in herbalism as herbalism is a very vast area it is so much to learn about so much to understand and you don't have to know it all as an herbalist or you don't know it all but just make yourself knowledgeable and understandable about your specific area and just start there so you can focus on women's health womb health men's health you can focus on different systems of the body you can focus on a digestive system and making herbal blends pertaining to constipation or stomach acid reflex or different things pertaining to soothing the digestive system or you can focus on womb health where you focus on the reproductive system or menstruation PMS symptoms so there's many different areas that you can go down when it comes to the study of herbalism and you just have to do your research and find what is in tune with you and your liking number two research and planning this is the first thing you should also do when it comes to figuring out your niche because this will also help you understand what is your niche what is your area when it comes to the study of herbalism and I did a lot of research and planning I spent one year just trying to understand herbalism and how to get going and I really mapped my whole layout out and really got how I was going to go about it who was my target audience what products and services that I have to offer how can I solve from A to Z and in my case I had a herbal detox blend that assisted people with cleansing their body when they went through with a fast so always 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 do your research so after you go about doing your research of course next you want to look into sourcing high quality herbs and ingredients because you need to get a feel and hands-on experience for herbalism and how the study works so this will work hand in hand with studying herbalism and when you get a feel for it you'll better memorize different herbs their function and how it interacts with the body once you absorb and consume these different herbs and see how it works with when you consume these herbs see how your body interacts and see the changes that have been made over time so you want to source high quality ingredients you always want to make sure you are purchasing your herbs from reputable sources you always want to ensure you are getting organic or wildcrafted herbs as this is the highest quality herbs that you can get and you want to make sure it is always in its natural state depending on your location you can source quality herbs from your local farm local farmers markets different local health food stores also they have a, a lot of online marketplaces that sell very great quality organic and wildcrafted herbs so do your research and look into where you want to source your herbs from they have in bulk options so now that you got a sense of the herbs you got a feel for you get hands-on experience and you understand the interactions and different things that it does when you consume herbs your body how it takes the herbs and how you blend combine different herbs and different constitutes that come out when you're extracting these herbs you then can move on to your product development I took one whole year to develop my product and got a very in-depth understanding of how herbs are combined together and I really studied and you can go to your local library to get herbalism books or thriftbooks.com which is my favorite book space to go to for used books but they are in new condition and used conditions but they have a lot of used herbalism books and I always like to go for books that are in the first version or in older state versions because it is like a wealth of information more of a history of herbalism and the ancient practice of herbalism so look into that website to get your books and also go to your local library they have a lot of herbalism books if you look into the garden section of the book areas at least my local library they have a wealth of information for herbalism but start there and give yourself time be patient you don't have to know everything or understand everything but the more you get your hands-on practice and really study with yourself your friends and family members the more you'll get an understanding of how to develop these products so you are able to send them to the marketplace to give to potential customers and customers so I took one whole year to do that so I can gain a better understanding of how herbs work together when we combine herbs because some herbs interact differently with different herbs and some constitutes and extracts come out when you extract 
extract different herbs together. And that is what I like to call the testing phase of when it comes to your herbalism practice and or starting up your business. So that is called product development and testing. Next, you wanna get into your branding and packaging. This is very essential to distinguishing you from others because there can be so many different herbalists and herbalism businesses out there, but what would distinguish you from others is your own unique branding, your colors, the presence you bring online, such as your own self, your personality. If you're gonna be the person talking for your business or you are not gonna show your face, so you will have to determine how would you like to distinguish yourself from others and that is what will make you unique to your own specific target audience and also other businesses out there who have similar businesses as you colors your logo so that is the end of this video that is all i have for you guys make sure you like this video comment down below any questions you have also check out and register for our herbal business course you don't want to miss out for this limited time offer i'm making it accessible for all who are starting their herbalism herbalism journey and who wants to go into business with this make sure you check us out and also follow our other social media platforms until next time